awesome. I know, I want it, like for real. Yeah. I go up there. I got a buddy who lives up there. I'm going to have to have him go buy it for me. Well, Snowmass, Buttermilk, Ajax, all the resorts up there. Yeah. Ugh, we could use some snow for <laughs> sure. We could absolutely bring it on, Mother Nature. Come on, we're, we're waiting for it. But we're getting Boom. a little bit of moisture, not necessarily for our ski resorts, but some areas of patchy fog and drizzle. This is a live view right now near Sterling. So as you can imagine, very limited visibility in spots. So be careful if you're heading across the eastern plains. The view from Pikes Peak, mostly cloudy skies. But we are going to be seeing some gradual clearing through the middle of the morning. So in the next couple of hours, most of that fog will start to dissipate and we should be seeing a little more sunshine, especially out to the west in spots like Aspen and Eagle, a little bit more sunshine, but up and down I-25 and out to the east. Still the chance for a few more spotty showers through the morning hours, so our bridges and overpasses as you head further out to the west could be a bit slick in spots. Most areas just dry and cloudy and cool. Temperatures, single digits and teens to start our morning 11 in Leadville and across the metro area. We're in the upper 20s to right around 30 degrees. Winds nice and calm for the most part statewide, so just grab the jacket if you're heading out the door soon because it's a chillier start to our day and we're not going to warm up quite as much as we felt the last couple of afternoons. Hour by hour as we head throughout the afternoon, upper 30s, 42 degrees is our expected high in town, which is normal for this time of the year. It's definitely a bit cooler than really the last week that we felt, but still we're going to warm up once again as we head into Monday. I'll take you through the seven day in just a bit, but by three o'clock today, this is what you can expect statewide. We'll see low 40s across much of the plains, Akron at 38, same out towards Burlington, Tw uh, 30s and 40s rather for our daytime highs in our mountains, and then we'll start to warm up tomorrow as the system moves through. It didn't bring much in the way of moisture, but as you see through 7:30 into much of the rest of the morning hours, by 10 o'clock, clearing sky. So a little more sunshine is expected expected that'll raise our temperatures to the low 40s through the middle of the afternoon and tonight skies will clear statewide and we're in for a pretty dry next couple of days. Tomorrow we'll start with more sunshine and our temperatures will be a bit warmer in the 50s by the afternoon and not too much going on. We'll see clear conditions all across Colorado. So whatever plans you have for Monday, pretty mild weather, still nice and chilly into our mountains. Low temperatures, single digits and teens still into our high country and across the plains, teens to low 20s. It's going to be a colder start to our morning with limited cloud coverage for tomorrow. Temperatures though a bit warmer. 56 degrees Aurora and Parker for our daytime highs and across the northeastern plains mid 50s with 30s and 40s once again into our mountains statewide. Leadville still chilly but sunny for Monday. Here's what it looks like on our seven day forecast. A big change is about to come as we head into the end of the week, but Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're looking mild and dry temperatures above normal near 60 degrees through midweek. And then in true Colorado fashion, once again, we'll gradually drop down to 24 degrees. Our expected high come Thursday. It's a very strong Arctic air mass that we're looking at impacting much of our state. So we know things change very quickly here in the weather department, but it's looking very cold and snowy as we head through the end of the week. Okay, that's more like it for December. Mm -hmm. So not a surprise there.